Hi guys, welcome to another official London Photography Tour video blog. My name is Luke and today we're going to be talking about the Dutch tilt or the Dutch angle. What is the Dutch tilt or Dutch angle? Well, in really simplistic terms, if that's landscape, that's portrait, the Dutch angle is anywhere in between the two. It's anywhere from here to there. And basically what you're doing is you're shooting a shot on an angle. It's a really great technique, it adds a lot of drama to the shot, it's actually a cinematic uh, technique, it, it added a bit of tension to the shot, um, it's a really good technique used in cinema but I, th I don't think you need to add it in a, in a way that adds um, tension to a shot, it, it's a way of changing the perspective, it's a really good technique for mixing things up. Um, where it works really well is like modern architecture where all the, bit of the buildings are really asymmetrical uh, it, I find that's a really good technique because you're just adding another angle to what is already pretty a, a building with lots of angles. You can see it in uh, my black and white photo that I incorporated into this blog. Uh, you also see I did a photo of St Paul's Cathedral. Um, that's where, it, I mean, you, you just about get away with it in that shot. It's probably not the best thing for that shot. It, it's a very, it's much more um, symmetrical building, much more classical building. And adding it on an angle sort of, is a bit of a gimmick and it, it's sort of detracting away from the importance and the beauty of St Paul's. Uh, where if it's an abstract architectural shot, it works really well. Another technique it works really well for is like fashion photography. Uh, you always get these models in like weird exotic angles by shooting the camera on the tilt as well It's just mixing things up adding an extra angle into the shot and can work really well The best way to find out if it's going to work or not is just by doing it and critiquing the shot um, Don't forget it has to add value to the shot. It can't be adding it as a gimmick to the shot uh, So use it sparingly, but but please use it and um, you'll have some great results from it Okay, so that's it for this video blog until next time have great fun at taking photos. Bye.